What's up, guys? Jay? Where do you have to kill? And I'm back here on Destiny! And today is the last and final day of 2015. So as we spend our day getting ready for tonight, I thought it would be fun to take a glance back at Destiny, a year review, and share my top good, bad, and ugly moments going forward into the new year, 2016. So looking back over the year of Destiny, there have been so many massive changes to the game that if I had to pick my favorite time period within 2000 Destiny's time frame, that award is going to have to go to the release of the House of Wolves. Now, the launch of the House of Wolves is an absolutely textbook example of not only how to hype a DLC, but how to deliver on that hype as well. With Bungie inviting members of the streaming community out to Bungie headquarters to live reveal portions of the upcoming DLC to the community, to the implementation of the Trials of Osiris, not only bolstered the PvP portion side of the game, but also the inclusion of Etheric Light as a reward brought new relevancy to Crota's End and Volta Glass by being able to ascend weapons to current max damage values. It's a good time to be a guardian. Even Varric's voice and the disappointment of the Prison of Elders couldn't spoil this summertime release. Yes. <laughs> but, as in all things, there's gotta be a balance. You were the chosen one! So as we take the good, we gotta take the bad. And God damn it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I almost gave the worst of 2015 to the thorn! Oh my god! <laughs> if you played Destiny in 2015 and you stepped in the crucible, the iconic tin can ting ting and green apple splatter bird on your screen is enough to send a lot of year one guardians into a stress induced post traumatic disorder breakdown. But sadly, as, as much as I'd love to give this ungodly piece of shit annoying PvP weapon the bad award of 2015, nope, nope, run program nope.exe, not having it son. That award is gonna go to the Taken King. <laughs> That's right, because as much as House of Wolves delivered on the hype it built, Bungie spent the better half of 2015 hyping up the most recent expansion to the game, The Taken King, with promises of an all-new renewed focus on storytelling with a bigger, better campaign, better enemies, and more weapons than ever before. Ended up delivering... Eight missions with five cutscenes, some very clunky character expositions, and a whole hell of a lot of reskinned year one weapons. All while making the progress that you made throughout the year in 2015 100% completely negated and an afterthought, leaving a lot of Guardians searching for more content within 30 days release. The exclusion of year one activities like Volta Glass. Crota's End, and some Year 1 Strikes in a Nightfall playlist being ignored completely, there's actually even less to do in Destiny now than there was in Year 1 House of Wolves. And that brings us to the ugliest Destiny moment of the year, and of course that award is going to go to Mr. Luke Asshat Smith. <laughs> For well, just generally asshatting in 2015. <laughs> Whether it's claiming in an interview that people would throw money at the screens for emotes, or when he proved it to be true later on in the year when emotes were sold to the customers of Destiny, Luke Smith went from being the hero of Bungie 2015, who early on in the year 
fessed up and admitted to a lot of mistakes Bungie made when handling the level increases in the dark below to being the dead horse beaten by jokes. Lou Smith has got himself a bad rap this year. Whether it's deserved or not isn't up for me to say. However, I think going forward in 2016, it might be best if Bungie kept him away from interviews prior to the release of Destiny 2. Please believe that. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Tell me in the comment section down below. What's your good, bad, and ugly moment of Destiny 2015? Like, I, I, I know that like a lot of YouTubers ask questions at the end of their videos and tell you to put it in the comments and Yo, know, I'm, I'm one of them. I tell you every day to put something, but I'm actually 100% like legitimately interested in hearing your Destiny story. I'm always interested in hearing you. Look at my comment section. I'm always replying to you guys. So tell me in the comment section down below. I actually, I want to know. <laughs> my name's Jay. We're an afterkill. Have a safe 2015, and I'll see you guys next year. Later. <clears throat> oh, nah, the meat is lovely. It's very good. Oh, fuck you, bruh. Fuck you, I cannot get one.